So you got public about having had depression uh, yeah. for, for quite an extended time, I guess, as a teenager, as an, as an undergraduate as well, and yeah, have spent a lot of time working on that. Yeah. Yeah. So, yeah. How have you ended up five or 10 times happier? It sounds, <laughs> sounds like a large multiple. Yeah. So, you know, a wide variety of things just mm. over a very long time period. There's the classics like learning to sleep well and meditate and mm. get the right medication and exercise. There's also just been an awful lot of just understanding your own mind mm. and having good responses. So for me, the thing that often happens is I start to beat myself up for not being productive enough or not being smart enough or just kind of otherwise failing or something. Mm. And having um, you know, a trigger action plan where that when that starts happening, I'm like, okay, suddenly like the top priority <laughs> on my to-do list again is like looking after my mental health. And often that just means like taking some time off, working out, meditating, and then being and like perhaps also just journaling as well to recognize that I'm like being a little bit crazy and um, yeah. like these things. Overriding things. The, exactly, the natural yeah. instincts. Yeah. So then it can be like, look, okay, well, sure. Maybe today is not going so well, but like how is the last like six months or something? Like yeah. think about like what have you achieved then? And it's like, okay, that, that does seem better. Yeah. <laughs> and so I've just gotten better at like these kind of mental habits. Yeah. Yeah. So I think this was, this was a huge realization for me. And I think I have to thank a very excellent therapist I suddenly subsequently put a bunch of EAs onto. I think she was really confused by why she just gets so many life referrals from me. Yeah. Um, but yeah, because when I came into there, and when was that? Like 2012, 2013, maybe. Maybe no, probably even earlier, 2011. Mm. I definitely had this mindset that the self-flagellation, the negative blame propaganda was very important. I remember she said, like, well, you seem very stressed. I was like, of course I'm stressed. I'm a utilitarian. Um, <laughs> <laughs> we, we have to suffer exactly that's the core part of the philosophy exactly and the thought was like oh no maybe i'd like lose mm. you know I, it felt like okay well it's yeah uh sacrifice of my own well-being but like it's in order to achieve things and she just kind of called bullshit on that and i think she's just totally correct which is like no you're just beating yourself up yeah and you do you would do that whether or not yeah. <laughs> you yeah. were like did, to did do you only just start doing this yeah, when exactly. you discovered moral philosophy exactly or, no i was no. doing it when i was yeah. a teenager and wanted to be a poet i mean yeah. <laughs> <laughs> uh so that was like the fundamental insight was like, oh no, actually maybe this is bad <laughs> for yeah. me doing, doing good in the world. 